By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I bring you the second round of the Knights of Thorn tournament in Deventer, the biggest old school tournament in the Netherlands. And we have two really, really nice decks playing against each other. On one side we have Candle Flare and on the other side we have a Eureka build. And before we start, I just would like to quickly explain a little bit about this deck so that if you're new to this old school scene, you kind of have you kind of have an idea of how these decks are supposed to work. So the Candle Flare deck is named after two cards, Mana Flare and Candelabra of Taunus. Now Mana Flare is an enchantment for one red and two, and it says whenever you tap your land for mana, it produces one extra. So if you tap, for instance, your mountain, all of a sudden it, not, it produces two mana instead of one, so two red mana in this case. Now he's also playing with Candelabra of Taunus, and Candelabra of Taunus says it's an artifact from the antiquities, it's for one, and it says X tap untap X target lands. So for one mana, I can untap a land that is going to give me two mana. So you kind of get the idea. You get to produce a lot of mana. Now this player is also playing with Gauntlet of Might. This is an artifact for four and says that all the mountains produce an extra red mana and all the red creatures gain plus one, plus one. So this is very powerful. So his plan is just to produce a ton of mana play Big Disintegrate, but even cooler, play out Dragon Whelps, pump them up, or even cooler still, um, I, why do I say still? I just mean even cooler, uh, cast a huge Sheevan Dragon and just deal 20 damage with one punch, just one big fiery breathing punch. And how cool would it be if we get to see that in action and if we actually get to see the player on the left accomplishing this you know just one swing with a shivan dragon that would be super cool so i'm really looking forward to seeing his deck perform but on the right his opponent is also playing with a very entertaining deck uh, he's playing with the eureka deck and eureka is a pretty well you could say complicated card it's um a green legend card and what you can do here let me look it up eureka says both players may take any permanence in their hand and put it directly into play. Players take turns playing one card from, from their hand until neither wants to play a more permanence. No other spells or effects of any kind may be used while Eureka is in effect. So the interesting thing is here, it's two green and two by the way, and it's a sorcery. What it says is when you play Eureka, you get to play out a card from your hand and then your opponent gets to play out a card from the hand. And as long as you keep doing this, um, you can just keep playing out cards of your hand. Now the nice thing here is that Eureka doesn't work in a way where you say, okay, I'm not gonna play anything out of my hand and that the effect stops. No, it only stops when you both say, okay, I've played enough cards out of my hand. So in other words, if you have a Eureka deck, you'll probably play with a lot of fatties, like big creatures, and you want to cast them thanks to your Eureka, because you can cast them for no casting cost at all. And I believe that the Eureka deck has four colors in it, maybe even five. So this is going to be really cool and very interesting uh, to watch. So let's quickly go to game one and see what's going to happen. Game number one, and it's about to get down. On the left, the player with the Candelabra de deck, and on the right, the player with the Eureka deck. And we now see that the player with the Eureka deck has taken a mulligan there. And here is a quick start from the Candle Flare player with a time walk. Look at that start. Volcanic Island into a Mox Pearl, into a Soul Ring, into a Candelabra, and a time walk. And there is a turn to Gauntlet of Might, the card that we talked about in the introduction. And there's a Mox Ruby and a Tropical Island from the Eureka deck. And you can kind of see his hand there. I believe I see a Mahamoti Jin. And instead of Eureka, yes, there's a Eureka there. So if we can get a force next turn, it's going to be some Eureka action here. And there we see a Stone Rain. Ooh, and there's a very important Mana Drain. Does mean that he has two extra mana now. Three, actually, and he can play the Eureka. And will we see a Eureka? I believe so. He's taking a damage here from the City of Brass. And there is a Eureka playing one Mahamoti Jin, playing two Mahamoti Jins, and wow, oh my goodness. So actually, the 
the candle flare player was helping the opponent here by casting that stone rain because of that mana drain that is very tragic and all of a sudden you have two mahamoti jins against you and there's one fireball at least taking care of one of the mahamoti jins but that still means that there's five damage there on the board and there he goes to 14 and he is playing a regrowth it's hard to see i believe he played a regrowth on the Eureka, but it was very difficult to see here, so. And let's see what the Candle Flare player can do. Maybe he, need, he just needs to find a Dragon Wall, but I think that alone would be enough because you can pump it and then you can um, take care of that Mahamoti Jin. And there is a Fork and a Lightning Bolt taking care of the Mahamoti Jin. That's also a way to do it. And there's five mana and there's the, or six mana I should say, and there's the other Mahamoti. So I guess um, he used the regrowth to take back the Mahamoti Jin. Makes sense, why would you take back the Eureka when there's nothing in your hand anymore? So that was probably a good play. And I also think I see a Shivan Dragon and maybe a counter spell there. It's hard to see. Passing turn anyway, the Candle Flare player is on four, needs a solution, doesn't have a solution. And this was a quick game, but very, very exciting seeing uh, multiple Mahamoti Jins being cast and also that Fork Lightning Bolt play, play was pretty cool and that opening was just pure fire. So looking forward to game number two. Game number two and it's the Candle Flare player on the play. So let's see what he can do. Needs to win this one to stay in the game after that first win by the Candelabra deck. And let's have a look. So looking at his hand. And I believe he, he's taken two mulligans already. So that means he has to put two cards on the bottom of the library here. Going down to five cards, so that's far from ideal, especially when you have to win it. Um, again, pretty decent opening here with that Gauntlet of Might, but he will need a follow-up. And what's this? Black Lotus. And there's a Bayou, and there's a Crack, and there's probably Eureka. And there there it is. There's a Mahamoti Jin, turn one. And that's just, yeah, that's just great. And this is going to be very difficult here for the Candelabra player because, again, you are looking at a big threat. And, you know, this is turn one. And it's just that it's so insane when you look at this board state. And both players only have had one turn, but that's Eureka for you. You can just play everything out of your hand. It breaks all the rules. It's a fantastic card. Um, and there's Soaring, another attack. I believe he's down to eight. And of course, seven playing a Shivan Dragon. Yes, I'm, I'm happy because maybe now we can get an actual match here. Maybe he can now get the Mahamoti off his back. He's still on six life there. His problem now is that Mana Vault, or seven, I believe. The problem is that Mana Vault that's kind of dealing a damage in his upkeep. And there's a Eureka. Oh, this is cool. There's an Elder Dragon. I, oh, um, we talked about it in the introduction, but this is the Elder Dragon we talked about. This is a seven, seven flying trample. Wow, and you know, if you're gonna lose, lose in style. But let's see if he can still do something. Oh, I like this one, playing a Time Twister. This is cool, I am liking this game. And I just I just hope that he can find an answer because this game is, is too cool to kind of, these decks are too cool to, to have the game or the match like end here, so remember, the, the Candle Flare deck is, is down one game, needs to win this game to stay in it, has just cast the Time Twister. Doesn't have a lot of mana uh, left. I believe he has some mana from the Mana Vault floating. Playing a Mountain here, playing a Soul Ring. And this is going to be difficult. He's gonna cast something. There's another Gauntlet of Might. That means that his Shivan Dragon is now a 7-7. Seven, seven. And how cool is it to see the Elder Dragon? It does require an upkeep. So that means he takes the damage as well. Look at all the mocks in. <laughs> Boom. I believe he only misses. He misses the Mox Ruby. So you cannot end the game until you have your Mox Ruby. Pumping it into the Sheevan. So the Sheevan is now 9-7. And so that means if he attacks with the Elder Dragon, the Elder Dragon is going to die. But, okay, that's game already. Oh, interesting. Well, maybe he was down on life totals. I couldn't really see that. Um, but okay, this is this is game unfortunately, so that means 
that it's a 0-2 victory. And I'm saying unfortunately because I enjoyed both decks so much and I wish we could have seen a closer game here. But that Eureka is just very, very powerful. And uh, congrats for winning uh, the first game for the player on the right. Well, the first match, I should say. And uh, if you'd like to see more of the Nor um, Knights of uh, Thorn tournament, keep an eye on the channel because we will be posting uh, round three, four, and five. And we even have a match from the um, top eight here for you as well. So keep an eye on the channel. I'll weekly post new games from this tournament. And for now, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more old school magic, you can click on the links that are appearing right now on the screen or simply visit the channel. There are more than 60 old school magic games on the channel for you to view. Let me know what you think of this one. Leave a comment, uh, leave a like. If, you, if you're not a member yet, it helps to, to subscribe to the channel and it helps us grow and continue to make this content. For now, thank you for watching and see you next time. Ik het was fikker te